Hi, <clears throat> I'm uh, Paul and uh, this is my first YouTube video on uh, magnets. I've been doing a lot of research on magnets and uh, free energy and uh, zero point energy and so I've got uh, some uh, ring magnets, they're ceramic magnets and I got them out of a pair of uh, old speakers a friend of mine gave me and um, I've been looking at uh, technology like uh, the serial uh, energy or uh, SEG uh, as well as some other types of stuff and um, I wanted to start with something cheap and inexpensive without spending a lot of money on uh, you know extra magnets and this and that and the other so anyway yeah speaker magnets great source of magnetism if you want to experiment anyway um, what I've done is I've uh, taken this magnet as well as four others and I put them all together in a stack and um, got a really useful tool it's a pole um, identifier so you just press the button hold it by the magnet and it tells you which which poles green is for south and red is for uh, north so uh, on this particular one, I've uh, taken a, uh, a little uh, diagram out of Illustrator that I made for uh, segmenting uh, and measuring position on the magnets, and I just pasted it right on top of the magnet. And so we're going to identify this magnet, because I'm going to be experimenting and showing you this one. Uh, so on top, we have the uh, North Pole and at the bottom we have the south. Here we go. You see there. North and south. So we have north here, south there. So what I've uh, done is I've got some neodymium magnets and I've labeled these poles uh, accordingly, south and north. And uh, what I want to do is um, I know that uh, it's north on the top and so I have a really strong magnetic attraction here with the south pole to the north side and I'm just going to let it snap on there and uh, it uh, just wants to go to its own place and I noticed when I was playing with these earlier that it would find its own position as I rolled it around the magnet oops and what I wanted to do was determine where um, this position would be every time I rolled it around let's see if it was consistent so let's move it around over here that seems like a stable spot now I'm going to mark the spot right here with a little mark right there and then I'm going to roll it, oops, roll it to the next position and see where this ends up and it looks like it's lined up right about here so I'm going to put a number one or two marks here on the inside and the next position Looks like it's lined up on this line. We'll also do one, two, three, three little marks. <clears throat> Four. At, uh, one, two, three, four. Five. So we'll do, let's do this, we'll make five a dot with a circle, and six, nope, it's going to go right back to its starting position there. Okay, so uh, as I bump this thing around here, it kind of finds a new position, now this one may have something to do with the uh, diameter of the magnet. 
that's lining up to a new spot as it rolls around because it seems to be changing. Oh, it's got a new position. Look at that. Interesting. Okay, so let's see if I put this back on starting position. It may have something to do with the circumference of the magnet versus the circumference of the uh, of the ring magnet. So I'll move it to here, move it to here, move it to here, move it here, and back to the first spot. Yeah, very interesting. It could have something. Oh, there we go. Look at this. As I twist the magnet around. Ah. Oh interesting phenomenon here. Now I'm, I'm rotating this uh, this smaller magnet on its axis and it seems to be finding new positions should be uh, marking the uh, starting point on that magnet so we know which position. So let's pull it all to there. All right, so let's do this. We know that's south. So I'm going to put a line right like that. Oops, can you see that? A little line there. A line through it. Anyway, so as I roll this around, I got one, that's one complete turn. It looks like two complete turns. It's nearly three turns, four turns, not quite lined up again. Five turns, well, just over five. You can see the mark, it's a little bit off. Yeah, that's a little better. So you can see the red mark on there. I'm going to roll it around to the start position so it's lined up there. Lined up there. A little bit off there as we roll around here. And do again. Looks like we're moving about 10 degrees. These rays here are in 10 degree increments when I built this pattern in Illustrator. So probably based on the circumference of the, uh, the small neodymium and the um, circumference of the uh, large one were uh, were moving uh, 10 degrees but it still seems to be lining up it's um, so certainly must have something to do with the <clears throat> pole uh, that or the magnetic field uh, you know around the end here and um, its position um, when it comes in, into the uh, field of the uh, of the larger ring magnet. So yeah, there's some real interesting things going on with the uh, magnetic lines of force between these two magnets. <clears throat> The next thing I want to do is I have another, whoa, uh, another small uh, neodymium magnet and uh, poles are marked. And uh, I was playing with this earlier and I noticed that the way that these two, when they get around the surface, um, you know, um, repel each other um, on the outside in reference to the magnetic field of the ring magnet. So right now I have a really, 
strong attraction and if I try to remember that uh, we have the top here being north and so when I um, <clears throat> place this north field relation to that it just pushes it away but it's also attracted to that oh that neodymium all right so I'm going to take this one the second one and I'm going to place it on there I don't want to let it snap on there because I can chip that ceramic magnet and uh, put this here in the, in the field of view now watch this as I roll this one around here get my fingers out of the way it wants to push that next one look at that right on around out of the way as this one lines up moves that one there's a stable position I just uh, just got a little closer there, and it didn't like that. Pretty interesting, and uh, kind of got this idea from uh, watching the videos on the SEG, the serial uh, 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 electronic or uh, electromagnetic generator, and um, I was noticing the way the magnets were circling around the the ring magnet, and um, so I'm uh, trying to understand a little bit of that technology and the theory behind that without uh, going into the math and the uh, digging deep into physics. Okay, well, um, I'll show you some more uh, video on this as I experiment. I'm going to get some more magnets. Matter of fact, they're on order. And I'm going to be doing more experiments with ring magnets. Well, wow. very... Uh, powerful it really wants to move and uh, anyway fun with ring magnets